Hi guys, it's Mark Zickby, Mr. Sci-Fi, also known as Mark Zickby of Space Command. And uh, we're here today to talk about why excellent matters. But first, a little bit of a check-in. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to Brian Burke, who's been sending me very complimentary and very encouraging uh, messages. Thanks so much, Brian! And I agree with you. I think uh, JJ is going to do a great job on the Star Wars movie, as are you. And, uh, and I really think it's a great idea, going back to practicals, all that stuff. Uh, three cheers. And uh, uh, my friend... Um, Greg Jean, who built the uh, the city and Blade Runner and the mothership in Close Encounters, has been giving us stuff from uh, for us to use in Space Command from uh, you know Star Trek the Motion Picture pieces of V'ger and and shuttles from you know star, very Star Trek TV shows that have been redressed to be some of our spaceship models. It's great. It's very exciting. Um, so beyond this, uh, I also wanted to talk about um, Space Command. I just mentioned that, and uh, we're ramping up. We had, we had a long production meeting yesterday with all of our department heads. We're going to be shooting uh, the rest of the first film uh, beginning on August 25th, which is my birthday, and uh, so we're just planning the sets, building sets, costumes, the whole nine yards, uh, doing little little production tweaks in the script. Uh, yeah, many of you know I raised the initial money on Kickstarter, and then I've been selling investment shares, and that's been very exciting, because I never raised money before. The studios just gave it to me, and the networks, but uh, but I really like being underwritten by my audience, because I can write what I want, I can shoot what I want, I can hire whom I want. It's really great. Freedom is really, really great. And so I've sold 30 shares, three more to go! And No, 32 shares, three more to go. So um, it's very, very exciting. And um, uh, so then, so so here's why excellent mat why excellence matters, and this is what I wanted to talk about today, because uh, I've talked about why quality matters, why science fiction matters. Let's talk about excellence. And what gave me the thought about this is, um, you know, I teach a class where I mentor writers and directors and actors and producers, and we had a session last night with two of my friends coming in to uh, advise our students, and it was Mark Fergus and his partner Hawk Ostby. And they uh, wrote Children of Men and the Iron Man movie, the first one. Uh, and uh, now they're running a show uh, that's being done on the Sci-Fi Channel that's coming up called The Expanse. And these are terrific guys. They're terrific writers, great human beings. They really come from the heart. They do everything for the right reason. Uh, and uh, they're like Buddhist writers, essentially. And, um, and they were talking about building their writing staff. And they were talking about really pushing harder in terms of the material. So getting to a point where you think the script is right, you think the script is ready, and then you sit down with your staff and it's basically, this is just the starting point. Let's go deeper. Let's do better. Let's find ways to make it not what we've seen. Uh, let's make it more like real life. One of one of his writers uh, would read something and say, well, this is how they do it in the movies and TV. These are characters like in the movies and TV, but but it's not like real life. Let's, let's find the way to have it resonate with real life. And this is always the tightrope walk you're walking uh, in doing film and television and books as well, uh, which is you have to structurally in certain ways provide a story that's satisfying, but you have to find something fresh taken from life, taken from truth, taken, taken from observation, so that it has meaning. And, uh, and in terms of excellence, you know, excellence is very different from pomposity. And, you know, I've been thinking about J.J. and Brian and, 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 and Mark and Hawk and, you know, Gabe Sachs and a lot of the people I know. And, and you know, you know, if you succeed with the studios and the networks, it can pay very well. It's very lucrative. But that's not why many of these people, the ones I know, the ones that I gravitate toward, who have a real heart and a real spirit, they're not doing it for the money. That's part of it. That's part of the rewards. But, but the reason they're doing it and the reason certainly that I'm doing it is just the thrill of creation, the thrill of being able to look at your life and boil down. I mean, for me, it's really saying, well, what is life about? Why? What is this journey? And I don't necessarily come up with the answers, but I come up with the questions and the scripts that I write are inquiries into those issues, inquiries into my experience. And science fiction has always been me processing the real world through that lens. So you're able to take a little bit of a step away and find meaning and find commentary. And as I said in my in my uh, video on why quality ma matters, the reason excellence ma matters is because excellence, and we all know it when we see it, you know, you see something that's really first rate. I mean, for instance, the first time I saw 2001, I didn't understand it, but I knew I'd seen something phenomenal. Uh, when you see excellence, you're deeply moved. You know you've seen something unique. You've seen something that really gets to the heart of things. It, it, it's, it, it moves you in your heart and it moves you in your mind. It gets, it gets conversations going. Uh, I, after I saw 2001, I was a kid, I immediately ran home and pulled, get, got all the papers I could and read all the reviews. And it was very clear that the, um, the reviewers didn't have a clue either what the, what the film was about. And, uh, and so 
so the people I know who are writers and producers and directors, the, the, the good ones, my friend Michael Nankin, who directed Battlestar Galactica, uh, we are coming from enormous creative enthusiasm and we're all on this journey where we're trying to um, find meaning. And we get to work with these amazing, amazing artists like Doug Jones and Bob Picardo and Mira Furlan and so forth, you know, Bill Mumy, where, where we're all trying to find truth. You're really in, that, that's the interesting thing. You're really in pursuit of, pursuit of the truth. And, and I think one reason that so many films and so many TV shows um, piss us off <laughs> are that they, they haven't got a truth at their heart. They're, they're telling us the old lies and the easy lies, the convenient lies. And when something's doing that, you know, it's, it's, it's momentarily adequate. Uh, you know, it's funny, Rod Serling, and he was teaching a class and he was talking about writing. And he said that the question he would ask himself when writing a scene is, is this the truth as I know it, or better yet, as I feel it? And I think that's meaningful. I think that's, that's valid. And I think, I, I think I've said earlier, that the quality of our work derives from the questions that we ask ourselves and the questions we ask our team. And, and you know, and, and I think it's pompous when you say, I'm going to write the great American novel, I'm going to make the great American movie. You know, a, a lot of pompous people, you know, gas and, and, and do it just to feel important. It's, it's a form of narcissism. But, um, but when you're doing it right, you're, you're sort of bringing the best of yourself to what you're doing, and that's why I love writing and directing and producing, because uh, when it works, it really is. For instance, World Enough in Time, the Star Trek episode I did with George Takei, if, if, if that was the one thing that could stand for who I was on this planet uh, when I'm gone, people could watch that and know, I think, deeply, profoundly who I was, and, and people are moved to tears at the end, and I'm very gratified by that, because it's, it's, it's not um, false. People are moved because they see truth in it, because they're moved by the emotional truth that I'm presenting. So, so that's sort of a little of it. Uh, you know, I don't want to go on too much longer, but, um, but I'm so glad that so many people are being so supportive with, with um, Mr. Sci-Fi. You know, again, comment, like, share, spread the word, uh, subscribe. Uh, we're, we're growing. More and more people are aware of what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to be posting these videos pretty much every day and trying to be different and varied in what I say and, and try and remember what anecdotes I've told. Uh, but I'm, I'm very grateful. And anyone who wants to contact me, it's markzickery at gmail.com. You can look at me up on Facebook or Twitter uh, or spacecommandmovie.com or markzickery.com. Uh, if you want to talk about what you think makes for excellence in science fiction, uh, film, TV, books. Uh, we haven't talked much about books lately. We will more as the days go on. And, uh, and I still haven't told the story about Hercules. I mean, that's, you know, uh, but I think I will because it's a very funny story. I'll tell it next time. But that's it. So for now, um, it's Mr. Sci-Fi, Mark Zickery. Thank you for watching. Thank you for, uh, for finding these of, of value. I really appreciate all your comments. And we'll talk again really soon. Bye-bye.